Hello to my Griffin artists. Happy Valentine's week. Well, you can't have Valentine's Day without hearts. And a heart shape is just about my favorite shape in the whole wide world. I not only love the way that the heart shapes lines are, but I also love what a heart symbolizes. And I especially love a heart with a face on it. And we are going to learn in this video today about one of my favorite artists by, and his name is Chris Uphughes. Chris Uphughes is a pop artist. He's an American artist that lives in Chicago, Illinois. And he is a painter, a designer, and what we would call a street artist. What in the wide, wide world is a street artist? Well, a street artist is someone who creates their art on the sides of buildings and in windows and in all places around a street. So you might see some of Chris Uphughes' work perhaps in a mural. What is a mural? Well, a mural is a large piece of art or a painting created by an artist that is on the side of a wall. You can see mostly see murals outside on the sides of buildings, but sometimes people have murals in their homes. And I've seen murals inside restaurants. Maybe you're in a, inside an Italian restaurant and on the side of the wall, they have a big painting or a mural of a scene from Italy. Well, Chris Uphughes is a, what we would call a street artist and he creates fantastic murals on the sides of buildings. And as you can see, here's Chris painting his one of his favorite shapes. He's sort of known for creating these hearts. But you'll also note that the colors that Mr. Uphuses uses are bright and happy. Neon colors, bright colors, um, happy colors. Here is another mural by Chris Uphuse. And you see here we have his um, famous hearts that have all sorts of silly expressions on their face, funny, happy, silly. Chris Uphughes has said that his in his art, he wants to share his vision of happy and happiness with the world and spread optimism. Do you know what optimism is? Well, when you're an optimistic person, you feel happy and positive and good about things. So having an optimistic outlook on life means that you look for the good things in life. Here is one of Chris Uphuses, and see you, here's his name right down here. He signed it. One of his murals, as you can see here, here's the sidewalk. And here's the side of the building. You can see that there's brick. And here on that brick, Chris Uphuse has turned just the regular side of a building into what I think is such a happy, wonderful, and optimistic mural. He creates happiness through his art by the use of color and composition and subject. So the subjects of this picture are all things that he thinks probably make people happy, like flowers and hearts with funny faces on them and rainbows. A composition is the way that an artist, that like Chris Uphughes or like you, positions or puts your objects in a picture. So we're gonna talk about composition today. You're gonna to learn about composition and you're gonna create your very own Chris Uphughes inspired composition of hearts. Here is Chris standing in front of one of his window art pieces. So this is the side of a building and these are windows. And as you can see, he has the 
the, his famous hearts in the background with funny faces and eyes and silly mouths. And you'll see that with your supplies, I gave you a sheet of paper that has examples of mouths and eyes on it, just to give you something to look at, um, to inspire you. You don't have to copy these, but they kind of give you an idea of different types of eyes that you can do. And I also have a Chris Uphuse, um, so you can see the hearts and how you might put them on your page, overlapping. Um, that is what we call the composition. So we'll get to that in a minute. Let's just take one thing at a time. Now, I left supplies for you, the paper and these photocopies, and you should have also received a little baggie that reminded me of Chris Uphuse's art with colorful happy hearts on it. And that's just a little gift from me to you. And inside are some Valentine's treats. But as you can see, I've got a theme going here. I've got a heart theme for Valentine's Day. Okay. So you can even look at the bag for inspiration if you would like. Um, they're just irresistible. So what you'll need today are markers. Now, if you happen to have highlighter markers, that's awesome because the bright colors, Chris Uphughes really loves the bright colors and I do too. And as you see here, we have that picture of um, Chris Uphughes painting that heart in that really bright yellow neon color. So if you happen to have neon markers or uh, if you have highlighters in your house, run and go and get those. Otherwise, you can just use your regular markers. And if you don't have those, you can certainly use crayon. Um, I'm going to use markers in this video, but again, if you don't have the markers, that's okay. Um, just grab what you have. You're going to want to have a black marker. If you don't have a black marker, black crayon, Sharpie. Uh, if that's okay with your mom and dad, you might want to check in with them before you take a Sharpie. Um, but uh, we are going to use that black. It's going to be important when we are creating the features of the face of our heart. Features are the things on the face. Your features are your eyes and your nose and your cheeks and your the way that your mouth is and your smile is. Those are your wonderful features. That's what makes you you. And that is also of your features when you are speaking or when you are feeling an emotion that your features on your face can't help but react. So the features um, of the faces of our hearts are going to be all happy and silly and fun because we are trying to spread happiness just like Chris Uphuse. Now, since it is Valentine's week, you can create a composition that is a card for someone that you want to make happy and um, or you can make something for yourself or something to hang. So this is just my little example, but we're gonna start off. Now, My what I would like you to do is use a pencil. Start off by using a pencil. And we're going to start off practicing the shape of a heart. Because let's start at the very beginning with how you draw a heart. And so I would like for you to take out a pencil so we can practice our hearts. Then when we go to do our, our start our piece, our art project, I want you to start off using a pencil as well. And then when you're happy with your shapes, then you can go over them in black marker. Um, the reason why I don't want you using a black marker to start is because um, you could make a mistake and then you're wasting paper. And a pencil is great because it has an eraser. So if you don't have a pencil and eraser, pause the video and go and get those. Now, I'm going to use a black marker and on the video just so you're able to see my lines better, but I would like you to start off with a pencil, and then when you're happy with it, you go over it with the black. So let's begin by practicing some hearts. 
Now, you might say, I already know how to do a heart, and if you do, this will just be extra practice, but um, sometimes it's just the best place to start is right at the beginning, um, and, and practicing makes perfect. So, um, an easy way to do a heart is you start off with two arches, almost like two mini rainbows, one and two. Okay, that's the top of your heart. And then you're going to come and you're going to bring these two lines down diagonally to meet at a point. And if you want to, you could even go and say, how big do I want my heart? I think I want my heart to be about this big. And if you have that, that can be your guide to bringing your line down on both sides. Okay, let's try that again. Let's make a smaller one. So we're going to do one and two arches. I'm gonna figure out how big I want my heart to be. I think I'm gonna make it another sort of tallish heart. I'm gonna put my little dot there as my guide and I'm going to bring my lines down to connect. How about another heart? Here we go. We're going to do one and two arches. I'm gonna put my little dot where I want um, my heart lines to connect. And there you go. Now we have three hearts. Great practice. Now you'll notice that in a lot of Chris Uphuse's work, his hearts are what we would call overlapping. That means right now, my hearts are not overlapping. They're one, two, three, and we know that they're there and they're not overlapping at all. Overlapping is when there's another object behind the object that you've created and um, you would draw it in back of it. So let me show you, if I was going to do, an, uh, if this heart was overlapping with another heart, I might come up and start my little arches like this. And then I would come down and do my point like I did before, bring that down, and then kind of figure out mm, where would that line be coming down? And I would meet it. So those are overlapping. And I know that might be a, sort of a new kind of idea, so we'll practice that a little bit more. Let's, let's try to do a little bit of an overlapping heart over here. So again, we're gonna do those arches. I'm gonna do one, and then I'm gonna go to do the other, but I'm not going to continue it because I want it to look like that heart is in back of this one. So I'm not gonna draw that line coming out, I'm going to make the viewer feel that that heart is continuing in back of this one. And I'm going to do my little dot at the bottom and then I'm gonna come down and connect. And now my line's gonna go up and I'm just going to have it stop right here so that it looks like the rest of that heart is in back of that heart. So that, that takes a little bit of practice. So you can continue to do a few more. You can pause the video and kind of practice the overlapping. Um, and practice your hearts. Let's do one more heart at the top before we start to um, create our, our final composition. So we have the one and the two arch. I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna make a little dot where I want my lines to come down and connect. I'm going to make my line come down on both sides to that point. Okay, there we have our practice hearts. Now, let's take out another piece of paper and let's start to create our hearts and figure out how many hearts do I want on this piece of paper. I think that a, we should have at least five hearts on our paper so that we can make our composition interesting, okay? We'll do one, maybe we'll do one big heart and maybe two smaller ones, 
two more kind of medium sized one and maybe one that's overlapping. You, you get to decide as you start. Again, I want you to use pencil to begin and then when you're happy with how all your hearts look, you can go in with your um, black magic marker and go over your lines. So I'm gonna start with one large heart in the middle of my page and I'm doing those arches like I did and I'm going to make a dot at the bottom I'm gonna come down and connect my lines. I've got my big heart. Now I'm going to do, I think, two smaller hearts here. One side and another heart. here and I talked about two medium sized hearts so make this a little bit bigger I'm going to do my arches my dot connect them now if there's a way that you like to do your hearts that you prefer do that I just wanted to give you a way of doing hearts if you didn't have one already and you weren't feeling very confident about it I've got my arch there I'm going to do my dot and here I'm going to come up and connect them so I have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I have five hearts, but I definitely want to try to do at least one overlapping heart. And I would love to see you try to do at least one overlapping heart on your picture too. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do my arches. I'm going to come down with my point and I'm going to make this side come down. And then I know that when I have this line come up, I'm going to connect to the side of this heart so it sort of looks like they're overlapping a little bit. Do you see how I did that? Okay. So now I'm happy with my hearts and now it's really fun because now we get to do our fun Chris Uphughes inspired silly faces. So at this point, you can take out um, the inspiration sheets that I gave you and kind of take a look at them and decide what you want to practice, um, what hearts you like best, what expressions you like best. Um, I'm going to start off with, I think, big round eyes. And then I'm going to do these little sort of semicircles inside the eye and I'm going to color that in black. And you can look at the examples on the sheet. And then I'm going to do a cute little nose that's just a mini arch. As you see here, you know, one of the elements of art is line and we've learned about the elements of art all year. And if you see this line is this nose is really just like the lines that we created up here, those arching lines, just smaller. And our um, smile is gonna be another arching shape with two little mini arches on either side. So it's kind of funny that you do repeat a lot of this same um, shapes just in different sizes and in different positions. I'm going to do, I think, some little eyelashes coming off. And I'm pretty happy with that face, so I'm going to leave it like that. Now, I'm going to try another type of eye that Chris Uphughes would do. And it's sort of these longer arches. And then you go in and you do these little lines under. And this cute heart is looking up. Maybe it's looking up at the big heart. Maybe this is the mama heart and these are the baby hearts. Who knows? I'm going to do another one of those cute little noses. And then I think on this heart, I'm going to have an open mouth. And I'm going to do that neat tongue um, that Chris Uphughes does. So let me show you. You have your mouth. And then you're going to come in and you're just going to create sort of the exact same heart shape that, you know, the top of the heart that we did. You're going to almost be creating the same thing inside of the, the mouth. 
and then you color that background black because that's the inside of the mouth and you can't really see. And then you'll eventually go in and color that tongue like pink and it's so cute, it really pops. Okay, I think the next heart that I'm gonna do, I am going to make just little black circles for eyes and that nose again. And I think on this heart, it would be fun to have some silly teeth. So I'm going to do two little teeth there. And I think I'm gonna do some funny eyebrows. Again, it's up to you. You can decide which features you want. I think I really like this cute little winking heart. So I'm going to make a winking heart at the top. So one eye is open. And then the other eye is winking. And the way that you make it look like it's winking is you just do that curved line. You can put a little eyelash on it if you want. Maybe we'll put eyelashes over here. A big smile and a nose. If you went through this picture and looked at all of this curved shape line, the practically the whole entire picture is made up of that shape, just in a different way. So I think that's pretty neat. It's a curved line here and here and here. All right, so let's go over. Let's do a few more fun little shapes. Let's see what kind of eyes. I think I'll do, I think I'll do eyes that are close together. Okay. And just a little something different. And then maybe a kind of a little bit of a bigger nose. And how about one of these funny smiles? It's a little bit off here, just the one side. Okay. Now we're gonna go up to the top and we're gonna do our last one. And I think I'm going to have this heart looking down. So the little eyes are looking down. And we'll do another opened mouth. And I think I'll do that cute little tongue again. So you just, you can pick whatever expression you want. So you've made your hearts You've created a composition, which means you have decided where on your page all of your objects are gonna go. And in this case, we're talking about hearts. So this is a composition that you've created. And then you went back in and you, with the inspiration of the sheets, created these fun faces and expressions. You might have one that has the tongue out. This is a great picture because this shows you one of the hearts um, and you can see it really, really well. Here's, here's a winking heart. This one's singing. That's fun. And this cute one has a little bow in its hair. So that's adorable. They are very happy pictures. And here again is Chris Uphuse's composition. And you see, he does have some of his hearts overlapping. Some are not. Some are freestanding, you're standing alone. So if you would like, with your picture, you can do some rainbows in the background if you would like, or flowers, that would be fine too. You can see here, I believe that this is a picture of Chris Uphughes working on this actual mural. As you can see, he does also these rainbows in the background. But now you get to decide which colors you want your hearts to be and you can use whatever you have available. If that is um, highlighters, great. You could do a mix of highlighters and regular markers. Um, regular markers, of course, are fine too. And if you don't have uh, markers, you can use 
uh, crayons. Now I'll say that I used just a regular black marker. I didn't use a Sharpie. And when I go to color it in, part of that Sharpie, as you can see, is coming off. And I don't want that. So I'm trying to really avoid getting, um, going over my, my black marker. One thing that you could do is after you've drawn your hearts in pencil, you could color them in with your colors and then go back and do the black marker. That might be a good way of doing it too. I, I did the black marker first because I wanted you to be able to see my, my lines. But So I'm just coloring one in just so you can see. They really come to life with the color. And it's just another way to create a joyful picture with the colors that you use, okay? So yeah, it's sort of a bummer when the, um, when the black marker comes off. Now, since I did a pink heart, I think I'll do a red tongue there. And so what you can do is you go through and you can pick the colors of your hearts and color them all in. And I hope that you really enjoyed this. You can keep practicing these fun faces. It's very cartoon-like. And Chris Uphuse was very inspired by cartoons from the 19th. 50s. Um, and uh, you can obviously tell because his hearts have a very fun cartoon type of look to them. So I wish all of my Griffins a wonderful Valentine's Day. I'd love to see your Chris Uphuse inspired hearts and um, just want you to have fun with this. And I hope that you're having a wonderful week. I'll see you soon.